all how are you all i hope you all are well today we are going to start with a new chapter the name of this chapter is electricity and circuits this is your uh, chapter number 9 in your cbsc ncert book of class 6 okay so quickly let's see what we are going to learn in this chapter okay so in this chapter we will focus we will focus on electricity okay what is electricity we will learn about the definition of electricity electricity what is electricity okay what is electric circuit and its components okay what are the components which are involved in forming an electric circuit and how can you all form an electric circuit uh, at your home okay so let's get started all right so before proceeding with the chapter i am going to ask you a question okay what happens when you switch on the light yes the light gets on have you all wonder how this bulb gets on yes of course by clicking on by switching on the uh, switch the bulb gets on but do you know what it's what every what is the process which is going behind when you switch on the bulb switch on the light what happens let's see one more example see when you switch it off what will happen all the devices gets off immediately when you switch it off when you switch it on all the devices gets started functioning and when you switch it off every device starts getting to off okay they get this function right now have you all seen this this at your home what is this have you all seen this at your home we all see this at home okay what is it this is a uh, socket and does the socket involve students students the socket involve this this hole is a switch board switch board what is it switch board and this whole switch board involves a socket okay switches this is regulator for a fan and all these kind of switches right we all this is common this is common at every household this uh, this switch board is, is common okay so Uh, when your uh, light gets off and uh, when your devices are not working you call an electrician and what does the electrician do yes see what does he is doing he disconnected the switch board and you can you see the wires coming along behind the behind the switch board there are several amounts of wires okay which are connected with the switches and those switches when you get them on the lights get on every devices which are connected to those switches get it on okay so are you excited to see what happen what is the process behind when we switch on the devices or switch on the plug and so uh, the devices get started immediately what all is running behind those switch board let's see okay so uh, students the main process which is running behind those switch board is as, is known as electricity okay so we are going to see in detail what is electricity let us see so electricity is a form of energy it is nothing but a form of energy we have studied in the previous class in the previous chapter about light that light is a form of energy electricity is also a form of energy students okay it's a form of energy how come it generate how come it produce okay we will see that is generated with the help of movement of charges present inside the electric wires as i told you that the switch board that you see in your household behind that switch board are is the collection of accumulation of several wires okay now those wires is 
consisted of certain charges students as for example our body okay, our body is made up of cells and our body uh, have you ever wonder how come our body gets a current sometimes it's happen now when we uh, when we touch the wire it uh, we get some amount of current we get a shock sometimes okay it happens during the rainy seasons okay so uh, make it understand may understand this that everybody has certain amount of charges inside them okay be it a body or a device or a cell or a wire this all this consists of certain amount of charges and those charges when when we switch on the plug or switch on the uh, the button what happens those charges get move the there are two kind of charges positive and negative the positive one will run along the negative one and the negative charge will run along the positive positive one so these movements when these charges make the electricity is generated okay this movement is generated by the charges when they get heat up and when they get heated heated up the electricity is generated okay so you can see this is the cycle what happens when we switch on the uh, switch on the button what happen this is the battery okay this is a battery and battery also consists of charges positive and negative charges okay and what happens these charges get move as soon as this we switch on the plug in the battery the charges get move okay and when the movement of charges occur it results in glowing up of device devices or bulb okay so what this process whole process shows that electricity is generated along the switch the battery and then the bulb okay which helps in the uh, glowing up of bulb okay so till now we have understood that every devices are consist of certain amount of charges charges are nothing but uh, you can say uh, some electrical uh, electrical electrons They're, these are electrons okay charges see what happens the battery or a cell this battery or a cell consist of certain amount of chemicals and these chemicals consist of positive and negative charges okay when these positive and negative charges heated up when they get heated up when we switch on the bulb switch on the button or uh, specifically the uh, in the in your socket board there are certain kind of switches when you switch it on this battery which are having the charges come into movement okay and when they move the chemical is heated up and it results in glowing up of bulb okay so that's how the electricity is generated okay let us see what happens actually see when you switch it on the all the charges which are uh, present inside the wires get in turns result in movement they are moving see the charges are moving from positive to negative and negative uh, are moving from um, uh, moving towards the positive and what happens when they move see the bulb glows okay the bulb consists of this filament can you see this filament this is a filament okay okay which get heated up and that in turns glow up the bulb okay that's how the story of an electricity that's how the electricity is generated okay and now i wonder you must be wondering that how come this electricity comes to your homes okay let us see so we will learn how to this electricity enters to our home okay so what happens we all know how the electricity is generated we all know na the dead and decay plants all the dead and decay plants and animals which are buried inside the soil right which are buried inside the soil and millions of years after all these are turned into fossil fuels right so these fossil fuels are then are taken to the uh, big big thermal plants okay 
these can you see this these are the thermal plants thermal means heat okay and plants plants are not that plants these are uh, big uh, you can say uh, uh, big big furnaces right so th uh, these thermal plants generate the fossil fuels okay what they do the all these uh, fossil fuels are heated up okay and then you can see this uh, fumes and smoke are coming uh, outside the plants so what happened this is connected to uh, all these big big thermal plants are connected with the transformers and transformers are consist of the voltage voltage means current okay of course electricity require huge amount of current so these transformer what happens facilitate or provide the um, uh, constantly constantly provide the actual amount of uh, voltages uh, actual amount of current which are required and then these transformers are then connected to the transmission lines i hope you you all have seen these kind of transmission lines which in the form of a okay these transmission lines and are then connected to the neighborhood transformer these transformers um, uh, slows down the voltages the current which are uh, which optimum amount of current which are needed to be uh, shared or needed to be distributed inside your homes since these uh, thermal plants generate large amount of electricity or current so these transformers are uh, helping uh, sharing the optimum amount of voltages by uh, by transforming or by changing the voltages from low to high okay so then the transformers lines are connected with again to the uh, transformers and these transformers then share the optimum amount of current and then this optimum amount of current are connected is connected to the distribution la uh, lines you all have seen these distribution lines in your neighborhood in the cities these poles a big huge huge poles are there uh, are built which are connected with the wires the distribution lines and all these distribution lines are then connected to your home right okay so uh, majorly many types of steps are uh, followed so that this electricity can come to your homes okay so uh, in this way the electricity reach your homes okay and this electricity or current is connected to the wires which we have talked about uh, in the first slide that these wires are there behind the that switchboard okay so, so there is collection of wires which are constituting of all these electricity which are coming from the yes thermal plants big big thermal plants okay so in this way you can uh, you, you now understand how this electricity are coming to your electricity is coming or reaching to your homes okay now have you ever th thought about the arrangement of the switch wires and bulb how are these switch wires and bulb are connected okay we know that there is a socket board there is a switch board which is constituting constituting of the switches but how come these wires are connected with your bulb and switches and wires see let us let come and see what happens so we are we are going to learn about the arrangement okay so arrangement of all these is known as electric circuit okay we will learn the about the electric circuit in detail and then components of electric circuit what what involves an electric circuit circuit how come this electric circuit get completed and what happens in a circuit and we will learn and which this for by certain conductors and insulators okay so let's learn so first we have learns about the learn about the circuits okay what is an electric circuit students it is a complete path the whole path through which electric uh, through which this electric current flows okay the complete path okay jahan se pura current flow hoga it should be constructed in a unbroken loop so there should be there should be no broken loops in between all this arrangement if there will be any broken loops there then it will result in the incompletion of the flowing of the uh, current okay so current will not flow uh, smoothly okay because there uh, there when there when the broken breakages happen so what happens fuses electric circuit or electricity get result in fuses okay so it may occur uh, to certain kind of shocks also okay so let us see what is this path is all about so you can see uh, this is a bulb 
this is the wire this is the connection loop means uh, you can uh, understand in the in this way that is it is a switch it is a kind of switch and this is the battery or a cell okay so these three components are responsible for the smooth flowing of the current okay in an electric circuit so it's it the electric circuit is the complete path through which the electric current flows okay it constitutes of a switch the wire and the bulb okay so let us see what makes a circuit the components of circuits okay so uh, material it's material that allows current to flow first of all this is the device okay device which get the current okay current will flow and this switch and this device will function and the material which allows the current to flow a okay. source of electricity such as batteries or electric outlets and the controls the current flow means switch we need a battery wires okay some materials which are now uh, we will uh, we will study how come these uh, wires are made up of okay so these are uh, the the wires are made up of certain materials which helps in the uh, flowing of current smoothly okay we will see uh, later on what are all these materials which uh, from which the wires are made up of okay so that the electricity can flow freely and smoothly without any resistance without any breakage or without any hindrance okay so electrical components electric electrical components are the basic building blocks of electrical devices when electrical components are com connected together they form the circuit okay circuit allows electricity to flow which powers electronic devices all the electronic devices be it a washing machine be it a, a hair dryer be it an anything which is running on an electricity are able to run because of the flowing of electricity which are coming through an proper electric circuit which which is running without any loop okay 